if you took Dimash to a few thousand years ago and you stuck him in ancient Greece, he would have been one of those philosophers up there with Aristotle and Plato, really trying to think about life and trying to make sense of it. And he would do that very well. And I would be talking about him in my lectures and what I wouldn't be saying is, hey, he had a great voice. No, it's not about that. It's about, it's about the sentiments in his songs. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to listen to Dimash and a song called S.O.S. I only came across Dimash about a week ago when I um, listened to, reacted to, and analyzed his song, Love is Like a Dream. And I was, I, you know, I was, the words super impressed don't really cover just how I felt about the voice, the performance, but also the lyrics in that song. Um, and since then, a bunch of deers, I only, this is something I only found out recently, that's Dimash's fans, have um, been super encouraging and super positive, and they sent me in the direction of this song, SOS. And so, I don't know what this is, I don't know what it's about, um, but I'm looking forward to, um, to seeing Dimash do his stuff again. Hope you enjoy it. That's it. That's it. Let me go back a second. Look, right there. There. Right. Why am I so excited at seeing that? Okay. It's because I'm trying to figure out what a, what the song is about. You know, with the, the with Dimash's with the lyrics that Dimash sang for "Love Is Like a Dream." There was something poetic about it, right? Now, he didn't write that song, Love Is Like A Dream. And so, 
I, I, I think he wrote this song. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to remember in the comments of the last song whether this is something that he wrote as well. But again, he seems to move towards songs that, that are poetic in their language. And when you've got poetic language, sometimes you're trying to figure out what is meant by that, by that poetic language. And so with this song, I'm trying to figure out what's going on now. This is what I can work out. I think there's a search for meaning. There's a, there's a search to answer this question. What's it all about? What is life all about? How, how are we here? How did this happen? Where do we go when we die? That, that sort of thing, I think. And he seems like the sort of fella that has this depth where I think this sort of issue probably eats him. It eats him up, you know. I think he thinks about these things an awful lot. And so when he's saying he feels uncomfortable in his skin, I think what he's really saying is, I can't figure out what it's all about. Especially down here on Earth. You know, and the, the actions of human beings, whether that comes whether that's in the way that we treat each other, whether that's in the way that we, you know, chase money or power or obliterate the planet, it probably don't make a whole lot of sense to him. And so he's there thinking, what the flipping heck is going on? Like, I do not feel comfortable here on this earth. I can't figure out what it's all about, but it feels as though the way that we're existing on planet earth probably doesn't make a whole load of sense. Like, I, I feel more comfortable, you know, in the sky, looking down from above. Now, like the thing about the sky is, whenever we think about spirituality or religion or gods, we look upwards, we look up at the sky. And then the reason why I got so excited when I saw this was here he is with the wings of an angel. And so I don't think he's saying for a second, I think I'm an angel, but I think he is saying that planet Earth sometimes doesn't make a whole load of sense to him. My light has just gone off. I'm not really sure why that's happened. There we are. Good. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I think that he's just saying that, you know, it doesn't, life on a planet Earth doesn't make a whole load of sense to him. Yeah. Okay, let's keep watching. I think there are things that we human beings are not equipped to think about. And I think that bit at the end, sleep child sleep, is almost like a trusted person coming and telling us that like, look, this is, you're not gonna figure this out. This isn't something that can be figured out. All you can do is live on planet earth, keep your feet moving, keep doing things that bring you meaning and sort of hope for the best. You know, this isn't a problem that you need to solve and there's a peace that you can find when someone says that to you. Like, look, I wish I could give you the answers. He's searching for meaning throughout the song, right? So I wish I could tell you what it's all about. And I can see that you're struggling with it. 
but some things we just we can't solve and so just find peace in that and sleep child um yeah 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 there was an anguish wasn't there with the way that he was singing like a frustration that um that the bigger questions in life he hasn't got answers for and he performed that so well and so believably and of course like Dimash did exactly what he did in the last song which is he sang about six different voices you know as in he sang for six different people just one person doing that is, is incredible but that's not the thing that wraps me into Dimash it's not the way that he sings it is the passion in his performance relative to the lyrics that he's singing about. They, they, they prompt me to think about things. They prompt me to think about the way that life is and some of the bigger questions in life. They touch on the things that we spend a lot of time avoiding thinking about as human beings. And he obviously has depth has this such depth to his character that he wants to look at and explore the things that we find difficult in the last song it was love right and that's just one of those things that we find difficult as human beings because when we love we open ourselves to loss as well and that's something we don't really know how to deal with and in this song he's talking about meaning you know like why do we exist and I'm drawn to something above us, something else, some sort of spirituality there, you know. So, he, you know, in the last two songs that I've seen, he's talked about love and he's talked about feeling uneasy in this world um, and trying to make sense of it. And I think being able to make more sense of it by drawing upon spirituality these are big things that he's uh, that he's singing about I think you know if you took Dimash to a few thousand years ago and you stuck him in ancient Greece he would have been one of those philosophers up there with Aristotle and Plato really trying to think about life and trying to make sense of it and he would do that very well. And I would be talking about him in my lectures. And what I wouldn't be saying is, hey, he had a great voice. No, it's not about that. It's about, it's about the sentiments in his songs. Yeah, wicked, wicked stuff, wicked stuff. Can't wait to, to watch some more of his stuff. I think the next one I'm gonna go for is like the story of me or something like that. I think it was, I think it was called like a, some sort of nine minute movie version. That should be, um, well, I mean, like, God, I'd probably be an hour-long video if he's done something for nine minutes. I'm sure there's it's packed with stuff. Um, all right, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for the encouragement um, from my last video. I really appreciated it, and um, and take care.